Providing human-machine interfaces as apps on mobile devices can improve ease of use and efficiency when working with a wide range of equipment and systems. Tap and Pass are field bus to wireless adapters that transform a MobBus serial port into an NFC Bluetooth port. They allow secure, easy connection of mobiles to the equipment you maintain and use. In this video, we'll show you how to create customized human-machine interfaces that run as mobile apps. With IoTize's solution, this is done simply by connecting Tap and Pass to the equipment's MobBus port, configuring Tap and Pass from a PC using a free configuration software, then generating the mobile apps from this same software environment. These apps can be for Android or iOS devices and can be distributed to users through Play Store or App Store. In this demonstration, we're using a target system with an accessible serial port that supports Modbus protocol. Tap and Pass, a PC with IoTize Studio and app generation tools, and a smartphone with the IoTize Toolbox app installed on it. Software and app downloads are provided at iotizestudio.com. This procedure applies to any target equipment with a serial port supporting Modbus RTU protocol. In this specific demonstration, our target equipment is an electrical protection relay. We are connecting to its serial port, which supports Modbus RTU. The reference manual for our target equipment provides us with all the information about registers and features that can be accessed over the Modbus port. Here, for example, is the information about the registers that we chose to use in our mobile app. For easy import into IoTize Studio, IoTize provides a spreadsheet where we can rapidly enter this information and organize our resources. We save this as a Modbus dictionary in CSV format. Then we can just import it directly into IoTize Studio. First, let's connect Tap and Pass to the target equipment. The Tap and Pass Nomad has its own battery so it doesn't require a power supply for, from the equipment. It includes cords that you can use to connect to a range of standard serial port connectors if the target has one of these. In our case, we're using a cable with an RJ45 connector and two wires to connect to a terminal block on the equipment. Make the RXTX wire connections according to the equipment documentation. Note that inverting these connections will cause communications to fail. So we'll test the communications before we configure the tap and pass. Now plug the cord into the RJ45 connector on tap and pass. Power up and you're ready to test the connection. With our mobile and the IoTize Toolbox app, we can connect to the target equipment and communicate. Toolbox is a utility app provided by IoTize for Android and iOS devices. It's available on Play Store and App Store. After you install the Toolbox app, simply connect the mobile to Tap and Pass using NFC or by selecting the Tap and Pass's Bluetooth connection from the list of available Bluetooth devices. From Toolbox, you can verify the cor and correct the serial and mode bus connection settings. Correct them if necessary for the target equipment. Now you can connect to and read one of the registers available on the target to test the connection. If the equipment does not respond, verify that Tap and Pass is powered up, that the RXTX wires are not inverted, and that the Modbus parameters are correct for the target system. Next, configure Tap and Pass to allow access to specific data and features on the target device from the mobile app. We configure Tap and Pass from IoTize Studio, the software that's installed on our PC. Then we transfer this configuration to Tap and Pass using its Bluetooth connection. We configure Tap and Pass by indicating 
what data or features to access and how, who can access it, and the, how the data is used in the mobile app. For tools, we're using a PC with Windows 10, a Bluetooth interface, and a network connection. Installed software are the IOTI Studio configuration environment and Node.js for app generation. Downloads and installation information are provided on the IOTI's website. IOTI Studio is organized into three general areas. A configuration panel, which contains all of the information about our tap and pass, the app we will generate, and the configuration for the target equipment. A visualization panel at the right for viewing the results of the configuration, and a target resources panel. This panel will contain the information about the features and data that can be accessed on the target system. Now let's go into IOTI Studio and create a new configuration for our tap and pass. In IOTI Studio, selecting New from the menu bar opens a new project window. Here we can enter the principal information that is required for a project. This includes a project name, the directory on the PC for our project files, and the Mobis library that we created with the information about our target equipment. In the target connection information, we verify and modify the parameters for connecting to the target's Moodbus port. The target resources panel now contains the information from our Moodbus dictionary. To use this information, just drag the registers from the target resources to the main bundle in the configuration panel. As we do this, the resources will appear in the visualization panel. Using the anonymous user profile for a bundle means that anyone who connects to our tap and pass can access the features in this bundle without logging in. However, we are limiting the access by setting access parameters to read only for this bundle. For our app, we created an additional bundle for commands that we want to send to the equipment. This will allow us to trip the relay from the mobile app. In this case, Anonymous is given read-write access to this bundle. So, we've created the configuration. Now we can connect our PC to configure tap and pass and test this configuration. To do this, we simply select tap and pass from the available Bluetooth connections. Then we click on Configure, and this transfers our configuration automatically to the tap and pass. To test this configuration, just click on Monitor. At this point, the real data from the target equipment is displayed as an HTML page in the visualization panel. When we are satisfied with the configuration, we can create our final app. Apps are automatically generated using the tools that we installed as part of Node.js on our PC. Note that a server-based version of these tools is also available. It simplifies installation and improves tool performance. To automatically generate an app, first select Generated App in the options. You will want to set the Android or iOS app identifier to enable automated installation and launch of the app when connecting.
The Generated App option gives us access to new parameters for graphical display. These include representation of data as graphs or gauges to improve visibility, and the use of graphical controls to trigger commands. For each of the resources in our configuration, we just select the graphical option to use and set the display parameters. Now click on Generate App to launch the creation of the application project according to this configuration. Click on Serve App. You will be asked if you want to display and test the generated app. Click Yes. The resulting graphical interface is displayed in the visualization panel of IOTI Studio. Now click on Monitor. This connects IOTI Studio to the target equipment. Now we see the real data from the target displayed in our user interface app. At this point, our IOTI's generated app just needs to be transformed into an installation package for mobile. To output the final app, in our case an Android APK, run the command npm run Android from the command prompt on the PC. The resulting APK can be directly installed on the mobile. Note that when you're using the server-based app generation tools, an email is sent to you that provides you the link for the final APK. With the final app and the settings that we made in IOTI Studio, when a user connects to our tap and pass, the app is proposed for installation or is launched automatically if the app is already installed on their mobile. So there you have it. With IOTI's Tap and Pass, creating apps for your Modebus equipped systems is as easy as connecting and configuring the hardware and then generating the app. Tap and Pass with NFC and Bluetooth connectivity is available worldwide from authorized IOTI's distributors today. For more information about these and other topics, please visit our website www.iotize.com.